and welcome to my morning routine. It is 5.59 a.m. The gym class starts in a minute, so I need a Zoom. Um, but I will uh, try film what I can and then I'll see you guys afterwards. <laughs> seven and I have just made it home and bonus you guys would have just seen some footage from the gym I was really unsure about how I would be able to film that I did take my camera and mostly because I didn't want to leave it in my car and I took it inside I was like there's no way that I can like think I've got the whole like tripod happening I was like there's no way that I can pull out this whole thing at the gym like that's so unacceptable so um I just filmed on my phone which worked out great i only filmed the ones where i could film it without showing other people in the background because i understand not everyone wants to be shown working out on the internet to about forty thousand people so completely understandable anyway i'm home now and i need to go inside and have a shower i start work at like around 8 30 like i can start pretty much any time as long as it's before nine o'clock so normally i try and start earlier because i start earlier it means i finish earlier and i'm a morning person and my brain just functions better in the morning today's a hair washing day as well so this might take a little bit a little bit longer than normal. I've kind of forgotten how to like film morning routines. Like I always watch everyone else's and they're so like cute and aesthetic. I don't really know how they do it because the morning routine like it's gonna be pretty rushed, not gonna lie. But I'm on the morning shift, the opening shift. And before I have a shower, because I'm kind of like on like a semi-tight time schedule here, I'll go up to my room and dump all of my gym stuff. Actually, I need to go open up these curtains too. Kind of uh oh, I can see a storm out the window. Yes, it's a beautiful sunrise, but there's also, there's a storm happening over there. When I get home, I'll come straight up to my room and put my gym stuff away. So my glasses, and my jumper, and my heart rate monitor. And that means that I go downstairs and I'm just wearing all of my dirty gym gear and I can chuck straight in the washing machine. Smart loving everyone. I need to go have a shower. You guys stay there. I'll be back in just a second. Ta-da! I need to sort out my hair, so come with me. Oh, there's a wetter. Look at that. Hey, buddy. He's not very big. He's a little baby wetter. That's cute. Now, I had in mind that I could do the camera like this and you'd be able to see me in the mirror, but can't <laughs> see anything in the mirror. I need to actually put some serum on my hair before I get too carried away. Honestly, you guys are my mirror right now because... I can't see nothing in there. Oh, it's kind of clearing a little bit. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. I can see all the obstacles in my way. There you go. Okay, my hair is now dry. Fantastic. It is time to straighten it. This is my straightener that I've had literally for like six years from Cloud9. Highly recommend. It's so good. And it just like gets the job done, you know? And that literally only took me like three minutes and my hair is straight and ready to go for the next three days. All right, let's go and find an outfit to wear. You guys are really getting all of the mirror angles today, but I need to put on some jewelry. Oh, this always happens, this ring like, it'll fit, it'll fit, trust me. There we go. I'm normally an absolute pro at putting my necklaces on without looking. Oh, 
What, why is today not my day? No, today is my day. We can do it. Yeah, we can do it. There we go. Jewelry done. Oh, perfume. Hmm. I've got two perfumes on the go at the moment. We have Marc Jacobs Perfect, which I've been wearing for like uh, about a year and a half. And then this one, which is new, is the Paradise one. Again, not sponsored. I wish it was. Hmm, I feel like it's one of this one today. I just sprayed it on my dressing gown that I'm about to take off. That's fine. Now, out for the day. It's not exactly cold today. So I'm thinking like a maxi... Ma a what? I'm thinking a maxi skirt and a little top could be the vibe. A little tablecloth number. Right, here we have the OOTD. I know that this top is called the Madeline top and I know it's from Princess Polly. And I know this skirt is also from Princess Polly. But I have no idea what it's called and I unfortunately do not have a discount code. Princess Polly at the moment. I have to be at my desk looking like I want to do some work in 23 minutes so I need to have some Kai bagels. To be honest I don't know if I prefer Abe's or there's another brand called Rebel. I think I prefer the Rebel ones because I feel like they're like softer but I toast them anyway so it really doesn't make a difference. I kind of go through phases with my breakfasts. I like some days it'll be like a overnight oats kind of day, other days it'll be toast, some days it might be cornflakes. And at the moment I'm in my bagel era and honestly I think my ba the bagel era is my favourite era but it's also the most expensive one. The other day I posted on my story that I was back in my bagel era and people were asking what I put on my bagels. Cream cheese, this is a light cream cheese, I found it way easier to spread so we just go with that. I know they have like a spreadable one but... Uh, that, that was the cheapest. Just some salt and some sesame seeds and some poppy seeds and some oregano. The leaves, not the powder. Also, since I've been going hundies at the gym, I have noticed that obviously I'm more hungry. And so I've been also having some yogurt for breakfast, but I'm the only one who eats it. So I literally just eat it straight out of the jar. I'm not like dairy free or vegan or anything, but this is plant-based coconut yogurt from Raylan Fuko. I was having just normal protein yogurt, just like the anchor stuff, but I do have sensitive skin and one of the triggers is dairy. And so I noticed that since I was consuming more dairy, my body was like, oh, okay. And then my skin got real bad. So this is like my little happy medium. It tastes delicious, doesn't flare up my skin and it fills me up. And now I just patiently wait for my bagel to cook. The toaster is uh, quite <laughs> aggressive when it pops. So we have half the bagel in the mixer and half of it down here. I went a little bit too heavy handed on the oregano, but oh, I can't even move it because it's all stuck to it. Okay. All right, I'm about to expose myself and I don't really know how I feel about it. I have my glass of water, I have my vitamins, and I'm about to show you guys how much of an effort it is for me to swallow a pill. I'm so embarrassed. I only learned to swallow pills in like when I was like literally 16 because I literally had to for my psoriasis, I was left with no choice. Up until that point in my life, all of my capsules were broken open and put into yogurt. And my tablets, I would chew and swallow, even if they tasted terrible. So I have taste buds of steel. First one is my Ed and I Skin Within. Here's Skin and Nails basically. You mean to take two a day? I started off doing that for like the first month, but they are quite expensive and so now I've gone back to just one a day just to make them last a bit longer. Just give me like three business days to swallow this. I've got stage fright. That took like two minutes. That's embarrassing. Anyway, that one's done. Now we move on to my little vitamin pack. It has vitamin B, iron, daily probiotics, vitamin D and magnesium in it. Also, I do have a discount code for vitamin. This is not, this video is not sponsored by them, but I do have a discount code Emma40 for 40% off your first month. So if you want to, um, make the most of that. I'll leave a link down below. Okay, this is the thing. I can swallow the vitamin B and the vitamin D all together so easily. <sighs> Done. It's the capsules that <laughs> are like the bane of my existence. Anyway, we'll start with the eye and I find like this, the ones that are heavier are harder to swallow. So that wasn't that bad. They're into like 30 seconds. This one is the magnesium. Sometimes it takes me so long that the capsules literally start dissolving in my mouth. It's disgusting. But it's still in there. It didn't go down. She's done. Okay, great. That only took me eight minutes. Embarrassing. All right, welcome to my office. Normally I finish my day like sitting, so that's why it's sitting right now. But I'm gonna stand this morning because I have a whole bunch of reports to do for work this morning. So this is my standing desk and I have this, which I found in the garage. It's like a balance board thing. Um, it's meant to be for knee rehabilitation, but I find it just gives me something to do. It's kind of like surfing. Kind of just like 
Anyway, you can't see it, so it doesn't really make sense. I also get a lot of questions about what I actually do for work. Obviously, I work from home, which is great. I work for a social media agency, and all of us that work for the agency all work from home, which is cool. My role is account executive, so I'm like a junior account manager. Um, I also do a bit of community coordination stuff, like for example today I'm about to jump in because it's like the 2nd of May today, so I'm going to jump in and do all of our clients reports for April. That is all for this video, thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a morning routine, I don't think I've done one since I moved away from Hamilton. There's a little glimpse of what, um, I guess you could call it like my 5 to 9 before my 9 to 5. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you enjoyed. But apart from that, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>